Hey everyone, welcome to Software Testing Mentor and RCV Academy. And in this video, I'm going to explain you how to install Playwright MCP server in VS Code. So, in order to understand the MCP server and the installation process, there are a couple of things that I'll go ahead step by step. So, the first thing is that you will need the GitHub Copilot within VS Code. So, how you can go ahead and install GitHub copilot you simply first thing is to create your github account in case you don't have the github account make sure you you either use your google account or click on create an account to create the github account first then the playwright mcp server installation is absolutely easy you simply have to go to the code.visualstudio.com slash mcp this is the link that you will see here you simply visit that and here you have all the mcp servers that are available right so extend agent mode in vs code by installing mcp servers and these are the mcp servers and you will see the playwright mcp server is also there that's officially by microsoft so this will automate the web browser using accessibility trees for testing and data extraction so you can use playwright mcp server for expediting your testing activities and we'll understand all of that in detail in the previous video I have explained about the MCP server how they actually function so let's see this all in action in the VS code and automate some of the use cases or test cases using playwright MCP server so simply here what I'll do is in order to install simply click on install playwright and it will ask you to have or open visual studio code so visual studio code should also be installed on your machine and automatically it will ask you this so this site is trying to open visual studio code we'll simply say allow to open link with the associated app so i'll simply go ahead and open and it will open the visual studio code from my machine so the first thing is create your github account and then the second thing is have the visual studio code installed on your machine so these are the two things that you have to go ahead before you click on install playwright now here that github copilot thing is not mandatory as a first step but then it is required to do the automation right so it, it's kind of all of these things are required but then first thing vs code should be there github copilot installation within vs code and playwright mcp installation you can choose whatever sequence you want for example i have the vs code installed then i'll go ahead on the portal here and click on install playwright and it will open the visual studio code window here so now here you will see the playwright option is here and i'll simply click on install this mcp server so the server is now installed and if you'll see click on uh, manage this link here cogwheel you'll see that i have the option to stop restart so automatically the server is start and i can click on show output and you'll see that it has started the playwright server now because I have installed this Playwright server, uh, MCP server already, so this time it was quick, quick, it might take a little bit more time for you. And then here you will see that, let me go back here, okay. So you'll see if I go to the extensions in the left hand side, you will see in the MCP server section here, Playwright is installed now. The other way to go ahead and install the MCP server or Playwright, uh, any MCP server or Playwright MCP server in VS Code is simply if say for example in the extensions, you go to the extensions and then here at the top, click on views and more actions and here go to the views you will see mcp server by default will be unchecked but in case if it is installed it will be checked if the mcp server is not installed so for example i'll simply go ahead and check it and then from here as well i can go ahead and install so let let me uninstall it okay so let me uninstall it so you'll see that nothing installed there and say for example this is disabled as well so in the extensions go to the views and enable mcp server and then here you will see that you have the browse mcp servers uh, option as well so if you click on this browse mcp servers it will open the same visual studio code.com page mcp and you can follow the same process install playwright open and automatically it will go ahead and install the playwright in vs code this is the number two step number two so first is install vs code step number two is installing the mcp server third you have already created we assume that you have already created the github account now once you have the github account the third add-on that you have to install or the extension that you have to install is github github copilot 
So if I search for the GitHub Copilot, you will see that if I click on here, it is, I have already installed it, but then if say for example, I'll say uninstall, you will see something like that, right? So your AI pair programmer, you simply search for that GitHub Copilot and click on install. And as soon as you will install, you will see that chat feature will also get installed. GitHub Copilot chat. This is also required for sending the chat or the plain text messages or the English, uh, your, your test cases in English, uh, plain English format in VS Code that can be understood by the large language model. And those will then with the help of MCP Playwright MCP server will launch the browser and perform the actions that you will specify in the text chat that you will use using the GitHub Copilot chat. Okay. So once this is installed, GitHub Copilot is installed, you simply will be asked to log in to GitHub Copilot. And for that, you will need your GitHub account. And that's where I was saying creating a GitHub account. So once you will say, for example, I am logged in at the moment. But if you're not logged in immediately, as soon as you will install GitHub Copilot extension, you will be asked to log into GitHub Copilot. Okay. So then you use the GitHub Copilot, GitHub account, username and password that you have used to sign up for GitHub and then log in. So once you log in in the right hand side, you will see this icon available. This is for, this is the GitHub Copilot icon. And at the top as well, you will see that you have the options, for example, open chat, quick chat, manage chat, right? So this is this is how it will look once you have the GitHub Copilot installed. So let me close all of this and then go to the extensions. Let me clear it and you'll see in the MCP server. Okay, so MCP server, I think, okay, I haven't installed MCP server. Let me install the Playwright MCP server as well. Click on install and you'll see Playwright is available here in the MCP server. So now we have configured the MCP server, GitHub Copilot and logged into, into the GitHub Copilot. Now, once I open the GitHub Copilot here, you'll see the open chat will open this window here and couple of options here. So you'll have the agent mode, the ask mode and edit mode. Now in order to perform some actions or perform some automation using Playwright MCP, we have to use agent mode. And I have already explained to you about the relation between the LLM agent, AI agent and Playwright MCP in the previous video. So if you haven't watched that, please go ahead and watch that video because that's more of understanding the concept, how all these three things work together to achieve the browser automation using Playwright MCP server. So that's all for this video in terms of installation. In the next video, I'll show you the Playwright MCP browser automation in action. Thank you. See you in the next one.